We want to solve the given rational equations. To begin, we should identify the excluded values. These are the values of x that resulted in a denominator of zero. Recall division by zero is undefined, and therefore we exclude these values as possible solutions. Look at the first equation, notice when x equals zero, we have two fractions with a denominator of zero, and therefore we must exclude zero as a possible solution. Let's go ahead and note this. Again, this is called an excluded value. And now we solve the equation. For the next step, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. Notice in this case, the least common denominator is two x. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by two x. For the next step, before we simplify and multiply, if the product involves a fraction, let's write two x as a fraction with a denominator of one. Let's also distribute on the right. By distributing on the right, it makes it much easier to simplify. And now let's go ahead and simplify before multiplying. On the left, notice x divided by x simplifies to one. On the right side, two x divided by two x simplifies to one. Nothing simplifies in the third product. And now let's go ahead and multiply. On the left, we have two times three, which is six, equals on the right side, we have one times negative five or negative five, and then minus two x times two, giving us minus four x. Notice now we have a much simpler equation to solve. For the next step, we isolate negative four x by adding five to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have 11 equals negative four x. And for the last step, we divide both sides by negative four. Simplifying on the right, negative four divided by negative four simplifies to one. One times x is x, giving us x equals negative 11 fourths as our solution. And now looking at our second example, once again, notice we must exclude x equals zero as a possible solution. Let's go ahead and note this. Again, this is called an excluded value. The LCD, or least common denominator here, is five x. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by five x. And again, if the product involves a fraction, let's write five x as a fraction with the denominator of one. We'll also distribute on the right. And now we simplify. On the left, again, x divided by x simplifies to one. On the right, five x divided by five x simplifies to one. And now we multiply. On the left, we have five times seven, which is 35. Equals on the right, we have one times three, which is three, plus five x times four, giving us plus 20 x. To solve this equation, for the next step, we subtract three on both sides. Simplifying, we have 32 equals 20 x. And for the last step, we divide both sides by 20. Simplifying, we have one x equals 32 twentieths. But 32 twentieths does simplify. 32 and 20 share a common factor of four. 32 twentieths simplifies to eight fifths. Our final simplified solution is x equals eight fifths. I hope you found this helpful.